Hi, and welcome to Hands-On Computer Vision with OpenCV4, Keras, and TensorFlow 2.0. My name is Rajiv Rattan, and I'll be your course instructor. I hope you're super excited to start learning about computer vision. So let me just tell you a bit about myself. I've got five years experience working as a data scientist, primarily in the areas of computer vision. Currently employed as a senior data scientist and a computer vision mentor. I graduated from the University of Edinburgh with a master's in artificial intelligence, and I've worked at several London startups over the last five years. I'm very passionate about deep learning, particularly in areas involving computer vision. But enough about myself. Let me talk about the course. So this course is split up into six sections. Firstly, we start with section one, where I introduce computer vision with OpenCV. In section two, I take you through some simple image manipulations using some OpenCV operations. In section three, we take a look at image segmentation and object detection with OpenCV. In section four, we take a look at machine learning and deep learning and how it's applied in computer vision. In section five, we take a look at more advanced deep learning. We're talking about advanced convolutional neural networks to be used for image recognition, facial recognition, and gesture recognition. And in section six, we take a look at topics like transfer learning, using deep learning for object detection. And lastly, we finish it off with neural art style transfer. In the first section, I guide you through installing all the tools needed for this course. You'll install Python, OpenCV, and TensorFlow. You'll then start exploring some simple concepts in OpenCV, such as grayscaling, color spaces, and drawing on images. In section two, you'll start performing some more advanced operations in OpenCV, such as image manipulations, cropping, edge detection, blurring, thresholding, scaling and resizing, dilation, erosion, and bitwise operations. In section three, we learn the ins and outs of image segmentation and simple object detection, including face, vehicle, and eye and people detection. You learn how to extract and identify shapes and images, lines, circles, and blobs. In section four, you learn how machine learning is applied to computer vision. You learn how neural networks and convolutional neural networks work and learn how to start building them using TensorFlow 2.0 with Keras. You'll learn how to build your own image classifiers to detect handwritten digits. And now in section five, we dive deeper into convolutional neural networks and create more complex image classifiers. Starting with a classifier for sign language, you'll learn how to create your own data set to build your own gesture recognition system. We'll then take on applying deep learning to face recognition where we do face similarity and build a real-time video facial recognition system. In section six, you learn about using pre-trained ImageNet models. You learn how to do transfer learning, and then we'll explore deep learning object detectors using pre-trained models as well. You learn about RCNN, single shot detectors known as SSDs, and YOLO, and then you'll get to use these advanced detectors on your very own images. And finally, we'll end the course with a very cool project on neural art style transfers. So what are the goals of this course? Well, firstly, you learn how to use OpenCV to perform many computer vision algorithms, such as edge detection, contouring, and many, many more. You learn to apply machine learning and deep learning computer vision tasks using TensorFlow 2.0 with Keras, and then you'll understand deep learning, particularly convolutional neural networks, and how to apply them to computer vision. You'll understand how to use pre-trained models for image classification and object detection, and then you'll learn how to create your own art using neural style transfer. So by the end of the course, you'll be able to create your very own convolutional neural networks and create your own data sets. So what about the prerequisites for this course? Well, you'll need a basic laptop or PC with a modern browser and a moderately fast broadband connection to download or view your videos. Next, in terms of skills, you'll need some to know some Python basics and some NumPy basics. However, the programming in this course isn't too intense and I step you through the code in all of the exercises. Lastly, in terms of knowledge requirements, you need some familiarity with basic high school level maths and some basic knowledge of machine learning would be very helpful. But again, none of these are assumed. So now let's get started.